okay so in this video we'll be talking about properties of exponents okay so we'll be trying to uh, know what is an uh, exponent what are the properties or the laws that we could use in dealing with expressions which involves exponents okay so we have here the exponential notation states that if a is a real number we have here yeah we have a notation that a is a real number variable or an algebraic expression and n is a positive number then a to the n is equal to a times a times a dot dot up to the n time in which we would multiply our a so meaning the n is the number of factors or in the number of times where we multiply a by itself so for example if we have we say 3 squared so it means that 3 times 3 and that will be equal to 9 so for example we have um, 4 cubed okay, 4 raised to the power of 3 so the actual notation for that is 4 raised to the power of 3 so we have 4 times 3 and uh, 4 times so for that one 4 times 4 times 4 so that is 16 times 4 that will be 64 okay okay so that is an Expo exponent or an exponential notation so this two three this is what we called as the exponent okay so we call that one also as our n while the the a or this three or four this is what we called as the base so the whole this whole expression so a to the n three squared and four cube so this is or these are exponential notations okay so now we will go to the properties of exponents okay so first we have a to the m a raised to the power of m times a to the power of n is equal to a raised to the power of m plus n okay so this is the the this property pertains to um, exponential notation which has the same base um, but they are multiplied and raised to uh, but they are multiplied okay so for example we have here 2 squared times 2 cube or 2 raised to the power of 2 and 2 raised to the power of 3 so they are multiplied so we will have 2 to the power of 2 plus 3 because this is for the formula this will be our m and this will be our n so that will be 2 raised to the power of 5 so this will be 2 times 2 times 2 so 5 times so 2 times 2 4 8 um, 16 32 so this will be equal to 32 okay now we have the next property so if we have a raised to the power of m all over a raised to the power of n is equal to a raised to the power of m minus n so you will subtract the exponent of the denominator to the exponent of the numerator so for example 3 raised to the power of 4 all over 3 raised to the power of 2 so this will be 3 4 minus 2 and this will be 3 raised to the power of 1 or you you multiply 3 one time or the, or you just multiply 3 single so that will be 3 and this is the simplified value next the property number 3 okay so just move that one so a raised to the power of m uh, quantity raised to the power of n so meaning this exponential notation here was raised to the power also of n so we will it will be equal to a raised to the power of m times n example of that for example we have 
9 raised to the power of 3 quantity raised to the power of 2 so that will be 9 3 times 2 and that will be equal to 9 raised to the power of 6 okay so if we are going to use our calculator to get the value of that one this 9 raised to the power of 6 so we we'll end up with 53,531,441 okay so we have 531,441 so that is the value okay so we're not so concerned with the value as of now because we are just trying to um trying to understand the properties of logarithm so next we have a over b quantity raised to the power of m is equal to a this is the power of m all over b raised to the power of m so for example we have 3 over 2 raised to the power of 3 so that will be equal also to 3 raised to the power of 3 all over 2 raised to the power of 3 so this will be 3 times 3 times 3 all over 2 times 2 times 2 this is 327 all over 2 times 2 times 2 that will be 8 okay lastly we have this one the the connection between ra the the radical notation and exponent in which in the next topic we'll be discussing about radicals so we have a raised to the power of m over n okay so that is equal to square root of n a to m so for example we have uh, 4 raised to the power of 1 half so that will be equal to um, square so this notation the radical sign this will be 2 here 4 raised to the power of 1 and and if you if we go a little bit advanced of our topic so this 2 here we just will become square root of 4 and that will be equal to 2 okay then we have the reciprocal so, so sometimes the yeah, seventh property this property is called as the reciprocal property in which we have a certain number a certain base raised to the power of a negative exponent will be equal to 1 over a to the m so for example we have 9 is the power of negative 1 so that will be equal to 1 over 9 raised to the power of 1 and 1 over and 9 raised to the power of 1 will just be equal to 9 so that we can say that is 1 over 9 and last so any base raised to the power of 0 so this property so any base raised to the power of 0 will be equal to 1 so for example we have 100 raised to the power of 0 that will be 1 uh, for example 1 million raised to the power of 0 that will still be equal to 1 okay so that is the eight properties of exponents so this this type uh, this property is very useful in simplifying um, expressions involving exponents which we will be doing on the next part of this video okay so i hope you understand something in this video Thank you for watching and as always, enjoy learning.